who a moment ago was categorized by Michael as a young man with a big mouth. Try to help his brother out here today. It was a great embrace uh, before we put him on camera that lasted a minute. And Leon congratulates and uh, wishes Yaki Lopez success. Maybe not success, wishes him well after today. And here is Yaki Lopez, 28 years old, born in Zacatecas, Mexico. Now lives in Stockton, California, 51 and 10. He won 31 by knockout. And uh, Yaki has his family with him. That's his wife, Bino. And little Yaki, who is three years old, one of three children in the Lopez family. The doctors in attendance are ringside. And that is the father-in-law of Yaki Lopez, Jack Cruz. Matchmaker and boxing promoter in California who is now Yaki's manager and has guided him right through his boxing career. Michael Spinks, who has won... 14 out of 14, 11 by knockout. He's the only 1976 U.S. Olympic gold medalist to remain undefeated as a pro. He won his Olympic title as a middleweight. That group includes Brother Leon, Sugar Ray Leonard, Howard Davis, Leo Randolph. In Spring's last fight this past August, knocked out David Conti in the eighth round. Conti ranked second in the British Commonwealth. Spinks rated fourth by the WBA, fifth by the WBC, and the introduction of Michael Spinks. Lopez ranked sixth by both the WBC and the WBA, and a win for Spinks should certainly put him in position for a mandatory defense for either the WBA or WBC title. The referee is Vinnie Ranoni out of Secaucus, New Jersey. Only the referee can stop the bout as we listen in. In case of a knockdown, I'll put you in a neutral corner. Stay there, even if I reach the count of eight. I'll call you out the box. Are there any questions? Shake hands and good luck. Referee Vinny Ranoni. The judges are Eva Shane and Richard Murray. Now the scoring will be round by round by the referee and the two judges. Michael Spinks in the black cross. Yaki Lopez in the green. And we're underway. Round one scheduled for ten between these two light heavyweights. Michael just threw out a very heavy jab just sort of to say this is what's in store. He wants to establish himself early. He wants to establish a jab early so that Yaki just doesn't come on. Mike Spinks generally regarded as the best fighter in the Spinks family, much smoother boxer than Leon. Much smoother, much steadier also. He's not erratic like Leon, he is always in control. Bertie, the question has been that early inactivity that you talked about. It could have been disastrous to another fighter, but it came early in his career where he got over it. He just put in a thundering body shot, which he's going to have to do if he gets to get Michael down off his toes. Lopez is a slugger, likes to throw bombs. The speed, good left jab. However, on the other hand, he is a leader. Now that has cost him in the past. That, of course, is one of the primary concerns of his corner in this fight because he's facing a man with a rapier-like jab who can open you up. Yaki's brow looks like a... Uh, the attack here in round one and we're halfway through you can look for that in any yaki lopez fight you can look for that all three minutes of every round because yaki just goes forward as i was saying his brow is all cut up it looks like a world war one battlefield just trenches and uh, moats there waiting to be broken open Michael's not known to start very fast. Michael Spinks sort of picks up speed in second, third, and fourth round. And we're certainly seeing that right here. Combination thrown by Alvaro Yaki Lopez. Three very, very hard hooks to the midsection that landed all of them right on the target. Michael did not block any of those with his elbows. We are live on 
on NBC Sports World. Marv Albert and NBC's boxing consultant, Dr. Ferdy Pacheco. Spinks throwing the jab. This is round one action from Atlantic City, New Jersey. Lopez with the right hand that was smothered by Spinks. Good combination by Lopez. Lopez, the aggressor, as he figures to be, pressuring, pressuring, driving him against the ropes. That's his fight. He wants to punish Spinks. He said that in the interviews, and he's doing it this first round. And we are final seconds, round one, and they're ending with a flurry. Shell fire night. Brother Michael on round two. Michael Spinks in the black. And Yaki Lopez in the green. Ring Magazine has Spinks ranked fourth this month. Lopez sixth in the light heavyweight division. Round one to Yaki Lopez. Definitely. Uh, Spinks has opened this round with some very hard jabs, which has gotten Yaki's forehead red already. Spinks has proven to be a world-class fighter despite his relative inexperience as a pro. This only his 15th professional fight. He blames the inactivity on a knee injury, also on his attempts to straighten out uh, Brother Leon. He said that kept his hands full. I don't know. That time, Spinks able to land on Lopez who tried to counter. Lopez following his game plan of driving Spinks to the rope and battering him to the body when he gets to the ropes. Of course, Spinks' plan is to make him pay for that as he starts coming in. So far, both men have exchanged heavy leather with no visible effect. And we'll be hearing from Leon Spinks uh, right throughout the fight. That time combination by Lopez. Lopez, cash in. Lopez right hand getting in in that combination. Drove Spinks back. We're definitely going to see what makes Michael Spinks tip in this fight because he's up against a terrible opponent. He is strong and he is determined. Spinks threw a dynamite right hook that missed by centimeters. But it missed. That's all that counts. Spinks in the black, Yaki Lopez in the green, and we have a minute remaining. And we have a great fight. So far, it looks like Yaki is absolutely not intimidated, and he's coming on. This is truly a crossroad fight. This is character building time. The excitement is mounting here in the hall because they sense that Yaki is determined and out to get his fifth chance at the championship. Three times, Lopez won 15 rounds for the title, lost a tough one to John Conti back in 76. And two highly disputed decisions at the hands of Victor Galindez, and of course, the uh, tremendous brawl against uh, the WBC champ, Matthew Saad Muhammad. Well, Yaki's really fighting very, very well. He certainly lost nothing in that fight. What he said was exactly right. He gave the punishment. He didn't take it. He just wore out. Well, second round coming to a conclusion. And we'll be back in a moment. Jersey Joe Walcott at ringside. He is the commissioner of the New Jersey State Athletic Commission. As we go to round three, it's Michael Spinks in the black trucks, Yaki Lopez in the green, and what's the Ferdy Pacheco scorecard for the first two? So far, I have Yaki ahead. Um, Michael Spinks' corner, Nelson Bryson, McCall, and Georgie Benton have sent him out to take charge this round. They said, you're letting it slip away those first two rounds. Now start taking charge. Lopez, his usual aggressive self, and thus far it has paid off. Spinks able to get in, and he hurt Lopez. Yaki able to recover. Well, I sent Michael out to go to work, and Michael's gone to work. But it's not so easy with Yaki Lopez. He'll stand there with you. This is what Yaki wants, toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's in his favor. That hook by Lopez. He showed us a double hook a moment ago. Tremendous combination by Lopez. Tremendous. 
tremendous action right above us. There's a little nick on Yaki Lopez's face as they trade evenly. We're halfway through round three. Lopez ahead over the first two rounds. And for Spinks, his best showing just moments ago. Those devastating body shots of Yaki are slowing Michael up. Just when Yaki gets started. Our brother Leon Spinks again urging his brother on. It can't help Michael because he's getting those thudding body shots. There's another one, and that one was below the belt. He's going under. He's going over. He's making him up. What a veteran fighter Yaki Lopez is. He's showing everything today. He's on the offensive. He's taking the last half of this round. Lopez 
Spinks in the green, Michael Spinks in the black. We're live on NBC Sports World. It's been another big day here on NBC. The KC Royals evening up the World Series at two apiece by beating the Philly five to three. Tomorrow, both football and World Series baseball on NBC. Check your local listings. Game number five coming up between the Kansas City Royals and the Philadelphia Phillies. And what a battle it's been here at Convention Hall in Atlantic City. Mark Albert and the fight doctor, Freddy Pacheco. And we are watching along with you, Michael Spinks, 25 years old, against the veteran Alvaro Ducky Lopez out of Stockton, California. Spinks has dominated this round so far. He started out very, very strong. He's landed some very hard punches. He's slowly breaking up Yaki's face. However, that's the way all the rounds have started, and then Yaki comes on. That right hand did not connect. Break, break! And the referee, Vinny Renoni, with a rare break. That's uh, the kind of action we've had. He's hardly had to do any work. He's an excellent referee. A piece of cotton just flew out of Yaki Lopez's ear. Left hand by Lopez. Lopez throws punches like a seasoned pro that he is, two and three in bunches. He doesn't throw one at a time. And that's causing Spinks a lot of trouble. You and I recall the uh, brawl telecast on NBC Sports World. Lopez and James Scott, the Railway State Prison. And of course, Lopez in that classic with Matthew Saad Muhammad. Spinks has just said something to the referee. He thumbed me in the eye, he said. He's clinking because he can't see good out of one eye. And he hollered at the referee. And Lopez able to take advantage with the left hook and then the right hand. A minute right left, round five, with left by Spinks. Lopez has tiny cuts over his eyes, both eyes, and on the bridge of his nose. They're not big yet, they're not a question yet, but they are opening up. In the meantime, Spinks is taking the beginning round, and now here comes Yaki again. Spinks desperately needs to take this round. He is behind. If he's going to pull this fight out, he's going to have to start winning rounds. feverishly on the cuts they've got an ice bag going on the lumps and bumps the referee has just come over and said take some of that vaseline off there's too much vaseline on there but in all they're come doing on, a masterful right. job the on the cuts great corner work and apparently mike spinks is all right as you mentioned he claimed that he took a thumb in the eye they're attending uh, to the right eye of this is round six how do you have it so far? Well, I think Yaki's ahead. No question. It's been an even round. Spinks took the last. Now comes the time when the endurance is at, at stake. Can an old veteran like Yaki last? Yaki's an incredible punching machine. Have you ever seen anything like this album where he just doesn't quit punching? He Yaki got him. Lopez, and Lopez is hurt. And Spinks looks to pull it away. Lopez trying to hang on. The referee doing a tremendous job of breaking him up. No doubt about it. Yaki's in trouble. They're in round six, and Lopez looking to break it back. Able to land with the left hook. Now that connected, it would have been all over. That's that experience. He got doesn't know what to do about it and complaining to the referee doesn't help and we're midway through round six jarring blows thrown by mike spinks 
offense, no question, is finding the range with clean shots. But Yaki just comes back. He looks like he's cutting them out. There's blood on both cheeks. There's blood on the mouth. There's blood over both eyes and on the nose. Terrible by Spinks. scheduled for 10. Matchup of light heavyweights. Michael Spinks in the black. Yaki Lopez in the green. And after a slow start, Michael Spinks has come on strong. And Yaki is taking some awful shots and still stands there. folks thought there would be a round seven but this is round seven with Michael Spinks in the black unloading on Yucky Lopez in the game and looking to end it right here right hand by Spinks he's in trouble Spinks looking to conclude out his hand Michael Spinks putting Yucky Lopez down some 30 seconds to take in from ringside but of course Yaki Lopez has been through the wars a record now 51 and 11 and he has been at the other end of it some 31 times by knockout this only the fourth time that Lopez has been stopped and here's how Michael Spinks did it right hand by Lopez and another right hand by should say by Sphinx. And that is Lopez going down for the first time. And then he was put down once again. So Michael Sphinx continues his unbeaten spring. This is 15th professional bout. And he has won all 15, 12 now by 